Hello music makers, my name is Angelica Negron and today we're going to learn how to make a new musical instrument called balloon tune. For making your new balloon tune, you're going to need balloons. I have one, two, three, and four balloons. And notice how these are all the kind of long balloons, the ones that some people use for making animal shapes. You'll also want an air pump to make it easier to fill up your balloons. Some rubber bands, about five or six. Some double-sided tape. And if you don't have double-sided tape, regular tape will also work for this. I'm also using some kitchen utensils. I have a big spoon a butter knife, make sure that you're being safe when you use this, a fork, a smaller spoon, a tiny fork, and I also have an even tinier spoon. I have one, two, three, four, five, six utensils that I'm gonna use for my instrument. You can use as many as you want or as little as you want. Just make sure that they fit nicely in your instrument. And just make sure also that what you're using has different sizes for different sounds and that you're being really safe when you use them. The last thing you'll need is something to play your instrument. So for that, I have a few options. I have a chopstick, I have a popsicle stick, a marker, and also a metal straw. And you can really try anything that you have in your home that would be good for playing your instrument, for striking it. Every musical instrument needs a resonating body for the sound to travel. I have this little music box that is very quiet and soft. Listen. But if I place it on top of this plastic box, Listen to what happens to the sound. It got louder because now this plastic box, it's the new resonating body for this instrument. I can also try the same thing with a wooden box. Listen. even louder. So what we want to create for our new musical instrument, the balloon tune, is a resonating body using balloons. The first step will be to fill up these balloons. Use your air pump to make that easier. And don't fill them up too much so that they're easier to tie. That's a little trick. looking good and if you need help in this step ask the grown-up to help you have one ready I'm gonna put it right here I'm gonna do the second one I have my four balloons ready and now I'm gonna pick them up and I'm gonna use the tape. That's why it's easier with double-sided tape. I'm gonna use the tape to put these four balloons together like this. Okay, so I'm gonna do that with my tape. I'm gonna place about two pieces of tape in each balloon just so that they stay secure. See how now they don't move. I'm going to do the same for the other ones. Two more pieces of tape. So now you have your resonating body. The next step will be to place the kitchen utensils on top of the balloons. So I'm going to put the balloons here in front of me. 
and place gently the utensils right in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, let's leave that there for now. And I'm going to first just play it and see how it sounds. So if I play this spoon, you can hear it, but it's a pretty short, short sound. But if I place it on top of the balloons, you can hear the sound get longer and resonate because now it has a resonating body, which are the balloons. So I'm gonna play one at a time so you can hear them. Ooh, super nice. I love those sounds, but I wish I could have them in a different order. So I'm gonna play a little bit with that. So I'm gonna leave the big spoon first. I think I might try the spoons together. Let's see. Like a little family. Let's see how that sounds. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to try switching these two forks. I think that's my favorite order. So you're going to play with different ways of arranging your utensils on top of the balloons until you find an order that you like. Once you have your order, then you're going to secure your utensils in place on top of the balloons using tape. I'm gonna use about two pieces of tape for each. Now it's not going to move, it stays there, so I don't have to be worried about how hard I hit. I'm going to do that for every utensil. Now you can play with different sticks for playing your instrument. So you already heard the metal straw, which sounds like this. Well, I'm gonna try striking it in a different part of the utensil. Ooh, I love how I get different pitches, some low, some high, and some medium. I'm gonna try it now with a marker, which is plastic. That's very different. How about with the chopsticks? Ooh, and a popsicle stick. What do you notice about the sounds with each of these different sticks? What do you notice about the volume of the sound? How about this? Compared to this. They're different. And I'm gonna also make one more mallet and this mallet is going to use the rubber bands so i'm going to use the rubber bands and i'm going to take the chopstick i'm going to grab them all take one of the ends of the chopstick and i am going to wrap around the rubber bands and twist and twist and twist and twist and one more twist Oof. So now I have a wood side and a rubber side. Once your new balloon tune is ready to play, place it in front of you, 
pick your favorite mallet to play it. I love the metal straw, but I think I like the marker better. But I also like the chopsticks. I'm gonna use both marker and chopstick and try different ways of playing your instrument. Play with different rhythms, different melodies, even different chords. This is so fun to play. Make sure that when you find something that you like, that you record it either on your phone or your computer so you can save it and hear it and also share it with other people. You also should title your piece. My piece, I think sounds like a Saturday morning in the park. So I'm going to title it Saturday morning walk in the park. Don't forget to share your new music with your family and friends and have fun with your new balloon tune. Bye.